Space repetition is one of the most, if not the most powerful tool you can use as a student because you are beating the forgetting curve by reviewing your information at a certain interval. And combining it with Notion, which is an application basically allows you to have everything at one glance, uh, gather all the informations you might require for your job, for your studies, for your personal plans, and so on, is also a very useful trick to have as it allows you to have everything at once and you do not have to worry about planning in more details in additional calendars or to put some recall every day you're supposed to be studying. Hi, my name is Laura. I'm a master's student in neuroengineering in Switzerland and today I wanted to present you the template I did for space repetition so how you can add basically all the topics you need to review and then everything will be more or less automated so you will have a master calendar with all the information and you will be able to use it as soon as you get it. So the chapters will be divided like this so please feel free to just skip to the part that is interesting you the most. I will do a very very short introduction on space repetition and notions for the people who don't know what it is then i will guide you through the templates i will show you how you can start a template from blank and then for the people that are a bit more interested in notion i would explain basically a bit the behind the scenes of this template because if you know what notion and you're in this video it's maybe because you know also some limitations that you can have uh, in notion and how this template is trying to like do the most it can with these uh, existing limitations and then a small conclusion and a little language disclaimer so this video will be also available in french as the template would be available in French as well so I will put the link down below so you can directly go to the video that suits you the most and let's get started. So basically space repetition is a studying technique that is based on beating the forgetting curve by reviewing your information at certain intervals. And basically when an information is new and it's more complicated to learn because you've never seen that before you will see them in shorter intervals and then the intervals will be longer and longer. The um, timeline that I use for this template is that you will review the information on day zero so it's the first time you're viewing the information reviewing on day one so the day after day three day seven day 15 day 30 and finally day 60 that allows you basically to have this very short interval at the very beginning because it's a very new information and it's important for your brain to see that often and then longer interval as this information will stick more to your long-term memory and if you don't use notion yet so notion is a very powerful tool it is free and basically you will have everything so you can have multiple pages with all your deadlines information papers for university to be planned uh, for your job, maybe you're using that in the context of your job. Uh, you can use that as a planner, for example, for one of your personal projects. It has like multiple, multiple, multiple possibilities. So I know like, like Notion at the very beginning can seem super overwhelming when you don't really know it. So I try to make this template as user-friendly as possible so you can use it very easily without having too much notions on how Notion works. So basically the template looks like this. So I try to make it as complete as possible. So when you arrive on the template, you will have this organizer. So you can see on this box, you will have what is to review next and you will have basically what you need to review today tomorrow then uh, this week so everything upcoming and you can see that you will have the name of the subject the review type so basically if it's as i said where you are at at the timeline on the timeline sorry of this subject so here day three day zero means it's the first time you're reviewing it so if you have day zero of the upper limb today it makes sense that you will have day one of the upper limb tomorrow for example uh, so it's the date of the day because when i'm filming this it's 20 25th of January 2025 and happy new year by the way then you will have the topic uh, so the topics are in French because these topics that I'm studying usually are in French but basically they can be in whatever language and you will see how easy it is to use and add your own topic it's just as an example and subtopic then you will have your weekly overview so you will see everything you need to review and you can just go on and you will have basically per day what you need to review again the review type so is it day 15 or day 3 for example of your topic and then you can just click done once the chapter is done and then you will have there the monthly overview so just to have a general overview as well it's just for visualization but you will see that everything is updated pretty easily and everything is interlinked so you will not have to add anything manually everything you will add at one place will be like automatically organized elsewhere and here you will have basically all subjects so all the things you need to review you will have some guidelines on how to add new subjects and new topic and you will see here the name and basically the day zero the day one three to sixty of this topic some review and update button i will discuss about later so that's all topics and then if you go to 
per topic basically here you will have per chapter so for example if you have several classes uh, you will you can see more easily per classes what kind of topic you have to review so here for example it's separated between anatomy and physiology so it's per topic all subjects because here you have just all the subjects you need to review then you will have the master calendar so the master calendar is basically what i showed you before so the calendar with everything and you will have the table which is a bit overwhelming at first but don't worry you will have to add technically nothing by hand there it's automated it's just if you want to check all the events you see like per topic so per name you will have the back day zero which this date and topic and everything is interlinked and you get put done when you have reviewed the thing but basically this master calendar is more when you will have to clean a bit um, with the two deletes that i will show you but you don't really need to use it because as soon as you have this is more for planning anyway. So as long as you know what you need to review every single day, you would not have to like really bother with the rest. Parallel comparison is also, I will use that later to show you how it works, but it's also just to have the subject and the master calendar. If you want to check that everything is like synchronized, but you don't really need to use it either unless you want to like check that. And then we'll have the get started page. So it's the page I did. So it will guide you basically through how to set the template, how you can add the first chapters, how you can add everything. You'll be guided step by step on how to add everything technically you do not need to use this page if you're comfortable with notion template you will see that it's pretty easy to just go on with the rest but it's just like if you're new to notion and you prefer like this you have three steps that are going to guide you on how to set the template and that's what we're going to do later with the plank template and i'm not going to go in this page for now but you will have the manual that is going to be a bit of recall of everything i said of course you have this video in case you will also have my contact in the template so that you can contact me if case you have any questions but this manual will like be a bit of summary of everything you might need to use the template in case you forgot something so let's go back to like all subject and i will show you how easy it is actually to create a new topic for example if you need to now review something and let's put i need to review uh, the lungs the topic would be still considered probably anatomy or physiology i don't know i would put anatomy and here i want to add it's not any of those so i want to add my own topic so that will be what you will be doing if you want to add a new one so i will just add respiratory uh, system so i just typed it and then I, I i press on the button enter or on the button here create and you see that i have my new respiratory system class and i won't have to like create it all the time i can just recheck this one then i will put my day zero so the first day of revision so when i want to start studying this subject for example let's put it uh, today and once i've done that you see that all these dates here i did not put them manually they were automated as soon as i put my day zero if i would have put my day zero here it would have been updated with the new dates but let's put it back there and then the only thing you will have to do to like be sure that everything is in your master calendar is to click on review so you just click once on the little button and it's done and basically now if you go back to your welcome page and to your calendar you will see that today now you have the lungs tomorrow you will have lungs day one and this week you will have the lungs so all the day uh, three and seven it's added on your monthly calendar so you do not need to worry about it everything is automated the only thing you need to do is to press this little button review so that's a bit how the template is you can easily add a new subject with this button on the welcome page so you don't need to worry about the rest get started it's just linking you to the get started pages also a bit in an easier manner and as well if you're a beginner to notion i don't know if when you download a template for example it can happen that it will look a bit like all shrinked in the middle for that you just go on these three dots and you just will open that and go on full width click on that and then everything will be spread how your notion is set it can be a bit shrinked but do not worry it's not a problem with the template it's just how the visualization is so now that you've seen a bit how it works how you have everything and how you have your monthly overview and how it everything is linked i will now guide you through a blank template on how you can get started if you want to get the template all right so here we are on the exact same template but completely empty so i will show you and we will get in the how to get started so we will do everything at the same time so i put some explanation i will uh, directly dive through uh, the the different steps directly this step as i told you is just to help you get started so you don't need to add everything if you want to add the topics through this page because you find this page easier to follow just 
go by that. Like you can only use this page and it's fine and it works as well and everything will be updated the same. It's just on how to get started. And so here they will say, create some subjects to review. So you just click on name, new page, and you will put the name of the subject you need to review. So for example, let's put, I don't know, the fungi topic It's microbiology. So I already have it here, but basically you just type the name of your subject, you put enter, and to delete a subject, you will just go to the three dots and delete because I will not let all of these categories, you will have a bit less, but it's just three as an example. And if you just want to delete because while well, you're not studying, for example, medical uh, studies, if for example, you're not studying medicine and you just don't need those sections, you just go on the three dots, delete, you can change the colors and everything. But in this case, it's gonna be microbiology. And let's put first the subtopic. I want to put that it's chapter one because it helps me to read chapter one. And I will put chapter one like this and it's done. I will add a few others. For example, you just add two topics. You can add um, as many as you want. If you already want to add everything you can, like feel free. And so after step one, you will go into step two and you see that here you can see the subject you've created. So you don't need to do that again. Everything is like automated. And there you will just choose the day zero. So the first day of, review, of your review, sorry. So for example, uh, for the fungi, I want to start uh, the lungs. I want to start today. And for the fungi, I want to start next Thursday, for example. And you can see that here, everything is automated. I did not enter a single date. All the dates are created. And now step three, I will add all these dates to my master calendar. So the only thing you will have to do is to click on this review button. So the little plus here. And you see that everything has been added to your master calendar here for the lungs. And you will see that the MC, so for master calendar, little checkbox is checked, so you do not need to press the button again. Same here, you will press review, and then for the fungi, now it's added. So you have your day one, uh, day zero here, and then day one, and everything is automated. Now, one important thing is how to update the date. If, for example, you did a mistake, you already put everything, and you want to change your day zero, actually, you want to start tomorrow. So you will see that if you just do that, all these dates will be updated, but people that know Notion know that we cannot display the calendar by only like several dates at once. Um, this is another database that is linked to create an event for each day or Review, so you need just to update that but to update it's also super easy you will check the little rewind button here and click on update that's the only thing you do it you wait a few seconds and you see this box is automatically unchecked when it's done and you see that everything has been changed so your lines are starting tomorrow and then day one and so on so it's just for update the important thing to keep in mind is just update one topic at the time um, because it's interlinked data based and otherwise it can like create some problem anyways if you do a mistake or whatever you can always delete uh, the topic or delete from the master calendar table that i showed you before the lines that you do not want so it's super easy and if you see that it's a bit too messy or you're not so sure you can go to your master calendar you will select all for example the chapters corresponding to your lungs oops sorry you will delete those with the little trash can and then you can just reclick the button review and re-add the dates like it's also possible what i wanted to make is like something easy how to update the only thing you need to remember and if you just click update without checking the button nothing will happen that's the only thing you want to do so you will just check that and then click on update and same here if you wanted to change i don't know to like the 29 you click that you click update you wait for a few seconds and then everything will be updated and you can see that your day zero it's now at the 29th for the fungi so it's pretty easy you do not need to worry about that and yes so now if you go back to the pages you had before like topics you have now for physiology uh, you have the lungs for microbiology you have the fungi uh, in all subjects you will have like the list of everything and for your master calendar you see that you did not add anything manually you just click on the button but everything is interlinked now the only thing that i wanted to show you is like for example when you have this parallel comparisons it's the exact same table i just put them like several times but if you change something on one table everything will be changed on the other table for example the lungs or the fungi i want to delete this chapter because I do not need to study for that anymore. I'll just click on that and I will click on delete. That's the only thing you will do. And you will see that there in the master calendar, you will have a lot of like in trash because it's not related to any event anymore. And the only thing you will do is click on update master calendar. You will have always button that will guide you through. So once you delete a few things, you don't actually need to do that a lot, but it's just clicking on update master calendar. It will be super useful because then you can directly see and in your to delete, you will have everything to delete. And if you want to like save some space, you just select them all and you click on delete and everything will be deleted 
automatically. So everything is cleaned. So once you delete something, you just delete the thing, click on update master calendar, and then everything is out and your view is clear. And here you will not have anything related to the fungi anymore. And also you will have this update master calendar a bit everywhere. So as soon as you delete something, uh, any uh, topic, then you can just click on this button and they will disappear from all your calendar. So you do not even need to go and put them out of the trash to be sure they're out of the trash. They will not appear on any calendar. So for example, um, to show you, I can add a new subject, day zero. Let's put it on Monday. I click there, I click it created all my reviews. And now I have for this week, I will have also all the kidneys that I will have to review. I have all my kidneys there. And for example, now if in my all subject, I have my kidneys that I want to delete. I will just delete them, update my, my master calendar. When you go back to this page, you can see that everything related to uh, the kidneys and everything has disappeared. So everything is updated. It's not anymore in your list of this week to review. Um, you just have the, the other topics and you don't, do not need to worry about that. I will put in the manual also all the steps I've discussed. Do not worry to go like in details in the master calendar to delete the pages you do not really need. It's not so much of a problem there. Uh, they will not be shown up anywhere because they will be the filters. Do not worry just sometimes to update the master calendar. So if you see that you've deleted a subject but they are still appearing in your calendar, just click on these buttons. There are a few buttons like this in the template. Everything will be updated. Deleted and you do not need to worry about that. So that's a limitation that Notion has is that I had to create multiple database kind of linked with each other so sometimes there are just this additional step with like a button but otherwise everything is interlinked so one event creates several events in the master calendar and the, the principle is that you can just add easily your new subject that you need to review add your review date and everything everything will be automated and the only thing you would have to do is click on this little plus button to see everything on your calendar. And when you will press anyways, you will see how many pages have been created. So you see how everything was automated as well. So as I said, the how to get started page is there to guide you. And moreover, you will also have the manual to answer all your questions. You will have also my email address in case you have any questions, but this template was made as user-friendly as possible. I showed you basically all the options there, but the most important thing you need to do is like, you can know how easily add a new subject so either you go on the button or anywhere in all your subject you just press new page you create a new topic you click on the plus for review to add a new uh, date in the master calendar so it become check and in case you change the date of review did you just click that and update and it will update everything that's the only steps you need to know about and you do not need to worry about the rest and if you have any inquiries any problem maybe your question will be already answered in the manual and otherwise you do not hesitate to contact me so in the last part of this video i just wanted to like quickly talk for people that are well knowing notion on how it was done so as you can have probably guess if you followed all the way through this video so there are two main databases: the subjects one and the master calendar one and basically the buttons are the one that allows to interlink the database by creating several pages on the master calendar so there's a need of this update button but i feel like it's kind of a okay additional step that might be required as well we cannot display for example the subject based on several dates uh, we can only for example display my subjects per day one or per day zero so i wanted to have something that is automated just by one button so you know that everything is created and you have this overview uh, in general so that's how this database are basically interlinked so really the buttons is uh, one of the key because it creates pages on another database from the subject one so that's why the buttons are kind of uh, non-negotiable uh, for this template i feel like it's a pretty okay way to go with this template and on how to solve this problem that is with notion maybe in the future we'll be able to do that uh, way easier i hope but for now i try to like gather everything and make that as simple as possible so thank you so much for watching all the way through the end of this video I do not hesitate to like send a comment if you have any questions any opinion on this template I would be very happy to discuss it with you and to have your feedback about it thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one bye bye